brother teased me and all. You read us a story. <laughs> oh, so you're a brother already. You know what, sweetheart? George is visiting with us. Let's leave him alone. Uh, yeah, I can, uh, yeah, I can read a story to children. What is this, the three little pig? Three little pigs? I don't need a book to read the three little pigs. I know this story. All right, you ready to hear it? All right, once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Antonio, Giuseppe, and Fredo. Antonio, he lived in a straw house. Giuseppe lived in a stick house. And Fredo, nice brick house with the cobblestone driveway and the lights underneath that show the trees, make it look nice at night, adds to the curb appeal. One day, Antonio, the one in the straw house, is sitting around, picking his teeth, watching television. Well, all of a sudden, here's a knock on the door. <laughs> it's a soft knock because the door's made of straw. And outside, he hears, <laughs> Big Bad Wolf, I'm here to collect my protection money. This is money that the wolf would charge the pigs every month or so uh, not to eat them. Protection money, and they'd give him money in an envelope. And you know what? Antonio was just sick of it. He doesn't want to pay the wolf no more. So Antonio says, Forget it. I'm not paying you anymore. Now, this, of course, makes the wolf very irate. So he says, I am going to huff, I am going to puff, and I am going to blow your house down. <laughs> Antonio's very, very upset, and the wolf huffs, and he puffs, blows it down. Now, of course, Antonio, losing his little pig mind, running around screaming and yelling, his house is ruined. Of course, he had no insurance. So he runs over to his buddy Giuseppe's house. Boom, boom, boom. Giuseppe, let me in. The wolf just blew it out. My Giuseppe's like, he blew it down. Yes, he blew it down. Come on inside, sit down, have an espresso, relax. They're freaking out. Next thing you know, boom, boom, boom. Knock on the door. Who do you think it is? Big bad wolf. Exactly, the big bad wolf. Giuseppe says, forget it. I'm not going to give you no money either. Now the wolf is like, all right, I'm a huff, I'm a puff, and I'm going to blow your house down. There's sticks all over the street. People are slipping and falling. It looks like a John Woo film. It's crazy. <laughs> now these two pigs are out of their minds. They don't know what to do. So they run over to their buddy Fredo's house with the big brick house. Bum, 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 break it. The big bad wolf blew down our house. Fredo says, all right, come on, come in. You gotta help us. He's gonna come in. He's gonna eat us. Fredo's like, will you please have an espresso? Calm down. Relax. I'll take care of it. Fredo is as cool as a cucumber. Walks over the phone. Boop, 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 boop. He dials uh, some associates and hangs up the phone. The next thing you know, Big black Cadillac limo pulls up in front of Fredo's brick house. Two Goomba pigs in dark suits get out. They walk over to the wolf. They say, excuse me, you're the big bad wolf? He says, yeah, I am. They pick him up by his lapels, and they start banging him against the side of the house, cracking his brain against the wall. Then the pig reaches into his pocket, pulls out his 9 millimeter, puts it against the wolf's temple. Bada bing, they blow his brains all over his nice Ivy League suit. Boom! All the way done. Uh, <clears throat> George, uh, I think we're... Yeah, this is the best part right here. I think we're probably... This is the best part, trust me. Then Antonio and Giuseppe, they go, who oh, Fredo, who is that? And Fredo goes, ah, those guys? Those are my cousins, the guinea pigs. <laughs> guinea pigs! Never mind. The end. Yeah! <laughs> Good kid. Hey, tell you what, kids, here. Hey, go get yourself some ice cream, my brother cheese. Oh, that's fine. Seriously. That's but nice. it's just ice cream. Yeah, that, you hang ah. They get an allowance. Uh, garbage and things. Ah, they do. It's 30 bucks. It's no big deal. Well.